Hello and welcome in the second part of the video. Now we're gonna deal with the rear uh, brake calipers and we're gonna jack up the car from the back. So I got already the lug nuts loose. I use a breaker bar. I'd rather use a breaker bar than an impact so I don't scratch the rims. They're already plastic dipped and a little bit scratched. And uh, I'm gonna block the front tires with a block of wood. You can do both of them or just do the one I'm gonna just do this one and make sure you work on a concrete or uh, asphalt something hard so you can jack up the car safely so I'm gonna jack up the car from the rear differential put the jack stand right in the center and I'm using a black foot as you can see the black of wood is not centered let me put it back in the center and make sure you don't hit anything while you do that. Actually, we could uh, check it out from one side and then go to the other, but I'm doing the both rear tires together. So. Like for me the wheels they are getting out without a problem usually if, if it doesn't go down just give it a good hit from the top or from the bottom or both sides if it's still getting there because I cleaned those a little bit before I installed the tires all right let's take a look now at uh, our uh, brake caliper it looks a little bit different from the one in the front it's smaller but usually it's the same Thing. it's you got well here you got one piston in the front we had two pistons and generally it's, it's the same thing the pads you can see the pads are not bad they're still good they're still having a good life in them but I'm doing this for a demonstration purpose showing you how to do it and the good thing I'm, I'm gonna grease the uh, calipers and the sliders let's do it so usually you're going to uh, locate the tool bolt that you need to uh, loose in order to get the caliper moving is that one and that one at the bottom. On most of the caliper and generally you'll always find four bolts and so for so you can be careful from confusing there is another one right here and another one right there that's the support for the uh, caliper bracket. So before loosening these bolts make sure Take a look at the uh, brake hose and the brake line. Here we have a brake line going, like a metal brake line going to the caliper piston or cylinder. And uh, you got uh, a hose, brake hose there, and then goes back as a brake line. So uh, what do we do here? We uh, loose the one at the bottom. So when you turn it, it goes up, and then you have no problem. Yeah, so take a look around and uh, inspect what you got. In this uh, case, we have the uh, emergency brake is integrated directly with a cable directly uh, to the caliper. So mechanically, once you pull on the emergency brake, this cable is going to pull on that piece of metal. It's going to pivot and it's going to apply pressure from the pads on your uh, disc 
put in consideration that while or before uh, uh, doing any kind of work see if you can remove Let's try to uh, loosen both bolts because we're going to uh, grease both of the pins This one has no room, so we're gonna go grab a open end wrench and we try doing that. So we brought an open end wrench one, 13 millimeter or half inch. It's gonna be definitely tight. So what do we do? Could use trick after I combine two wrenches just like that and there you go both of them are loose now So let's try to remove the uh, caliper. Try it feels like it's still having pressure against the pliers. Try to push it this way. Be careful when you do that. You should never try to put a lot of pressure against the pads. That's gonna crack them, especially when you use the screwdriver from here. So in some, in some cases, when it's so bad, all you have to do, I mean, you cannot move them. Yeah, you, ha you have to uh, go to the bleeding valve. You gotta loosen that and try to push on the pistons. That way you're gonna have the, uh, the piston moving like uh, smoother with less of pressure. So let's keep trying on pushing, I guess. And if they don't move, and they don't move out, I'm gonna use that bleeding valve to let it all go. So this one is, this one is a pretty old one. Plenty rust in it. And, uh, gonna lose but still I don't have room it's obviously here we have a obviously right here we have a problem with the cylinder it's clogged it's not going back and uh When I was driving, uh, I could hear a lot of noise coming from the rear end. Well, eventually we got it out. So the um, the piston is having a hard time going back, but the main problem here is is usually these. Check them, check them out. Those are very very tight. Are not e even turning. Or pulling you should be able to pull them with your hand without any problem so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some pliers and try to, to uh, loosen them a little by little let's remove our pads well they're not bad they're not cracked they're good this one is also doesn't have a lot of problems it's it's uh, it still have pretty still have pretty long life so the pins I'm gonna go grab a plier and try to uh, remove them so these pins 
they've been there for a very long time without being touched. I'm not sure. I bought the car that's used and seems like with uh, the uh, the way they are very very snug there and they're not moving seems like they've been there forever. So let's try to move that pin. I put a um, uh, vice grip. I put a vice grip here and try to hit it with a hammer. See what's going to happen. That's frustrating. I think it's not worth it doing it. Um, we'll just remove the bracket and we'll buy a new one. Even if I get to uh, remove the pins, the inside is going to be very dirty with the rust and I think it's too late. So, uh, so one of the most important things about greasing your uh, brakes is uh, to prevent this from happening. And uh, now I got like uh, the car running on the two front brakes more than the uh, the one in the back because um, the caliper cannot move cannot slide freely once you apply the the brakes so what happened is only one of these two pads is one on the side of the um, the piston try to push and the other one cannot because the caliper cannot go back and then you know you, you got the whole you got the whole rotor free because if you just apply from one side that's not gonna be enough and uh, so that sucks that's gonna cost a little bit of money so whoever whoever did this brake job before did not remove these probably he did not remove it uh, many times well actually the other side uh, is good that's pretty good and the whole thing is moving and that uh, looks like it has been grease got grease inside of it so we are gonna go clean it anyway and uh, looks like the bolts are, are newer than uh, the other ones so what I think is this whole caliper assembly is newer than the other one looks like the other one has never been replaced it's it's the original one I guess the other one was also missing the middle piece here but it's not a big uh, concern that one but you just you better have it back on uh, I will have to order a new one for the other side but uh, it's not a big deal nothing you worry about look when it's greased and in good condition how this I did not touch any one of them but look how easy they are they move and you can pull them all out that's a huge difference